so this video is about speech. Uh, how a spy or ninja slash shinobi would use the ideas of speech, speech patterns, the difference in people's speech. If a person's living in one area, even in, in small islands of Japan, uh, here in the U.S., you know, you have many, even though we're all speaking English, you know, we have many different ways of, and accents of different dialect of English. We have, you know, all them act, you got that southern, that southern accent that had them, you know, from the south, and it's almost kind of like a country life, but it's really drawn out and all that. And then you got your country boy, which is a little bit more spicy, and it's a little bit more snappy and faster and all that, but it, it's, it's more toward the back of the throat as compared to the ones in the south, which all happens toward the front of the mouth. Everything is happening with your tongue and the lips and everything. As compared to country boys, they use everything in the back of the mouth, everything. They use a lot more of the back of the tongue, so it comes out a lot more country-like. You know what I'm saying? So you got your, your down south uh, accent and your western accent. And of course you have your California boy accent. And they're all hell, man. You know, all your Californians, they speak like just pretty much like I do. Just very drawn out and, you know, pretty plain English. And then you have the east, east coast of U.S. Where, uh, again, I posted on the Facebook on this, this same post here on the Facebook research team uh, different dialects in New York there's New York and how to talk about this and all that it's because a lot of those guys are down there Italian so you know a lot of Italian bloodlines they got that, that New York and uh, accent you know even if they're not Italian they just naturally have this shot very put to the word accent you know it's just right there so there are many different variations ways of speaking even if it's the same language so this is, the point is, this is what a ninja would pay attention to. If he's impersonating, if he's going into one area and he knows that these people talk like uh, like this or like that, he, he, he'll he go and practice that. He'll, he'll, he'll probably uh, go around and listen, eavesdrop on some fellow people to see how and uh, how they talk like this, why they talk like that, what part of the mouth are they using stronger as compared to the other people that he was just seeing. This is the kind of stuff a ninja would pay attention to in practice. I'll give you some examples of this, considering I don't exactly have uh, too many people I can do this with, and it would be very boring. So I want to give you guys a scene from a movie. The movie is called *Inglorious Bastards*, and it takes place, uh, you know, in Germany back in the Nazi days of World War II. And we have this, a, a quick description of the situation at hand here. You have a uh, some people. Um, you have a guy pretending to be a German general. Uh, a colonel or general, okay, but he's not. He's actually a, a British, a very Englishman, and he, he's actually undercover to get information, exchange information, whatever it is. They're at a bar, but just so happens there's a real German general in the back, and he comes along to the table, and that's where things start getting interesting. And it starts here. Das war ein Scherz. <lacht> Scherz. Nein, natürlich störe ich. Natürlich störe ich. Meine Herrschaften, gestatten Sie, dass ich Ihnen nachschenke und dann werde ich Ihnen und dem Fräulein Adieu sagen. Erik hat eine Flasche 33 Jahre alten Whisky aus dem schottischen Hochland. Was sagen Sie, meine Herrschaften? Das ist sehr freundlich, Sturmbannführer. Erik, der 33er und frische Gläser. Wir wollen ja nicht, dass Sie den 33er hier mit Ihrem Gesöfter versorgen. Wie viele Gläser? Für mich nicht. Ich mag Scotch, Scotch mag mich nicht. Ich auch nicht, ich bleib beim Shampoos. Drei Gläser. So, you saw, all it took was a simple way of how he held up the three and said thrice. That's all it took. He said that wrong. I was like, a, he, he mixed like the English version of how he used his fingers and how he ordered his beverage. Oh yeah, he mixed uh, the way he ordered his beverage. That's how English people did it. Uh, Germans, they, 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 they would have held their fingers wrong and they would have said thrice a little bit differently. So it, it's just that tiny small detail that finally gave him away to the real German general and he knew. 
this guy's not really a general like I am. He's a spy. Auf ein tausendjähriges deutsches Reich. Ein tausendjähriges Reich! Ich muss sagen, ich habe genug von dem Affentheater. Haben Sie das gehört? Das ist das Geräusch meiner Walter, die direkt auf ihre Hoden gerichtet ist. Ja, warum richten Sie Ihre Walter auf meine Hoden? Weil Sie sich eben verraten hat, Hauptsturmführer. Sie sind so deutsch wie dieser Scotch. Also Sturm Herr Mayer. Schnauze, du Schlampe. Sie wollten was sagen. Ich wollte sagen, dann sind wir zu zweit. Ich habe eine Pistole auf Ihre Eier gerichtet, seit Sie hier sitzen. Und ab jetzt sind wir zu dritt. Und auf die Entfernung bin ich ein richtiger Frederik Zoller. <lacht> I hope you don't mind if I go out speaking to kings. By all means, Captain. There's a special rung in hell reserved for people who waste good scotch. Seeing as I may be rapping on the door momentarily. I must say. Damn good stuff, sir. This happened a lot, too, at the, back in also the Nazi days during World War II. If anyone's also seen The Great Escape, uh, he's in front of a bunch of uh, German military, and all the German military, they're all smoking cigarettes. Sure enough, he gets out a cigarette, and he starts puffing on his cigarette, and they all start noticing how he holds his cigarette. And he held his cigarette normally, while as everyone else he, he held his cigarette like this or something, while everyone else held theirs like this. And they all started pointing at the way he held his cigarette, saying, Medican, you smoke cigarette like this. And they, and, and they made him talk. And sure enough, that's when he's found out. So it's just these small details, the minute smallest detail that can give you away if you are trying to impersonate or if you're undercover as a spy or something. This is a, I think this is one of the strong, strong points of ninjutsu that people look past and read past it's just a simple, a couple sentences that point this subject out in the scrolls, but it's, it's, it's pretty deep when you start thinking about it. I hope these examples show that. Geheime Staatspolizei, Ihren Ausweis bitte. Ah, Francais. Jawohl. Commençons. Eh oui. Parlez-vous Francais? Un peu. Votre accent est très bon. Oh, je l'ai tout à fait dans l'école supérieure. Eh bien, passez. Merci. Au revoir, monsieur. Au revoir. Au revoir. Good luck. Thank you. Ah! Ah!